the North Pennines has been calling my name, so I must return. It's out with the big rucksack. But to where? And to do what? And hello from one of my favourite places, Cow Green Reservoir. So, what am I doing here today? Well, I've been feeling that my photography has been a little left out of late. Obviously with me doing a lot of day hiking. Um, it's been a bit harsh sunlight and I haven't really gotten any images in the golden hour, that type of thing. So I thought, well, why don't I head out and try and capture some? Now there is a particular type of shot I've been wanting in this area for a long time, but I've never had the opportunity. But I'm here tonight, fingers crossed. So, with a big rucksack, which means wild camping, it's time to see if I can actually capture the shot I've been after for so long. Really excited by this. So, let's go. Anyone who watches YouTube video channels regarding photography and landscapes will know the importance of picking the right spot. I have that problem. Um, I think if I go too high, I'll lose what I want. Choices, choices. A decision has been made and I am now committed to it. I can see where I think I need to be. Just got to get there first. And despite this dry spell, this is squelchy. Fun stuff. And as you can probably tell, this is very unrehearsed very last minute seat of your pants job. As I make my way towards, hopefully, my spot for the night, avoiding all the drainage ditches, I'm hoping it'll be all right. Hmm, looking promising. I think I found my spot for the night. Just about here. All right, tent up time. And literally 10 minutes later. And I'm done. Just as the golden hour arrives. Now, for anyone wondering, where have I pitched? Well, First of all, there's my tent over there. And I thought, well, you can see the tripods there. That's my tent. 180 degrees spin time. That's my car down there. So really not that far. Never mind. I mean, I could have just Came up in the car, took a few shots, waited a few hours to come out of the car, took another few shots, and then that'd be it. But I wouldn't be as interesting with it. Plus, it means I do get to try a touch of wild camping again, even if it is literally a 10 minute walk from the car. And just so you know, as the sun starts to set, It's not getting a little more interesting now. Yeah. So, as I wait for the golden hour, feels like it's been an absolute age since I've said that. Might as well get things set up ready. Mm -hmm. 
and it wouldn't be any wild camping expedition without the kettle going on and the coffee being made. Well, as the sun disappears behind a cloud, best laid plans Never mind, there's always another time. <sighs> time for plan B. So I sit with my coffee and wait to see if there will be a break in the clouds. And there isn't. But still the scenery is nice, it's just not the shot I wanted. Never mind, as I said, always another time. Well, I tried. I've even got the telephoto out to try and see if I can catch anything in the distance. And no. It's a shame it looked like it would have been a nice one. But that cloud's just too much, too thick. <sighs> Never mind. Can't win them all. It wasn't a totally wasted trip. I did capture this rather nice shot of Meldon Hill in the sunset. And in the distance, the ray domes on the top of Great Dun Fell. But the following morning, more cloud obscures the sunrise. And a good morning from a very cloudy start in the North Pennines. Well, what happened? Well, basically, I didn't get the sunrise, I didn't get a sunset, I haven't got a lot of photo opportunities. So, what do I do now? Well, do I just pack up the camp? Maybe just head back home. I mean, the car is only 20 minutes away, if that. No. Whilst I'm here, might as well visit somewhere special. Let's go. And as always, the camp is struck. Not taking very long at all. And all packed away back into the rucksack. And as always, leave no trace. And in glorious morning weather, it's time for me to head to my final destination of the day. But where? As I slowly climb higher and higher in altitude, with the views becoming more impressive the higher I go. And a gorgeous dawn breaking over the North Pennines. You don't often see this type of landscape in these parts. Hmm. And as I approach my final destination, what a view. And welcome to the summit of Herdship Fell. And the second curry stool. The second of these rare trick points. So we've got one curry stool here, one on the summit of Bink Moss over there and the other one on the summit of Iron Band over there. That is for a future video but for now I've got to head back to the car. And on the way back the scenery is gorgeous. Walking past old shepherd's buildings, just myself and nature. Now it's this road back to the car. 
with pleasant views along the way. And that's it for today. Sorry about the lack of, shall we say, a good sunset photo, but you can't win them all. But I have still enjoyed it. I've enjoyed the wild camping near the top, and I've enjoyed the hike to Herdship Fell and to view Curry Stool number two. So it has been an enjoyable experience. Hope you have enjoyed it as well. Whether you have enjoyed the scenery, the views, the journey, or even just the images. Do not forget everything you've watched, everything you've seen. This is nature. And I couldn't really end a video on that. If you can remember way back to near the beginning, I said I had a plan B, and I completed it. And the results? Well, I'll let you judge them for yourselves. These results include a night sky whilst while camping, as well as a star rise over Cow Green Reservoir. <laughs>